at Adam Tennis Academy in lockdown and uh, we're filming some videos for our two mini tennis red classes. We've decided to do one video for both. Um, the first class is the 9am to 10am, the second class is the 3.30 to 4.30 tennis for kids. Um, with all of these exercises, we're going to separate them into a warm-up, a body and ball section, a racket and ball section, and then a game at the end. So if you can follow all these through, that would be great. Um, these are in addition to your actual on-court lessons, which we'll still obviously recommence as soon as lockdown allows. Hi, this is the warm-up. Just some really short, snappy exercises for you to do in your garden. We've decided to use the patio squares. Um, if you're an adult, you might want to do it in between three squares. For our mini tennis reds, you probably just use one, one square for each foot. And all we're gonna do, I'm here with my uh, lovely daughter Arabella. She's gonna, just gonna do 10 bounces. If, you, if you're doing it for real, I'd probably try and do 30. Just 30 bounces up and down. So we'll watch uh, what she does. She's nice and light on the toes. Are you ready, Arabella? And go. Right, this next one is a star jump. I'll just let Arabella uh, show you what she's going to do. And all of these exercises I do for about 30 seconds to a minute. Right, this next one, um, building on what we've just been doing, Arabella star jumps in the initial uh, ready position exercise in your triangle position with your bent legs. Uh, this time what we're going to do is, I'm going to do it over three squares, Arabella's going to be in front of me doing it over two squares, but we're going to increase the bounce uh, by one on each time. So we're going to do two bounces in the middle square, or Arabella's going to do two in the middle on the middle line. So we do one, one bounce, and then one on each, and then we're going to do two on each. So we go one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should we do it together, Arabella? We'll go from six. So I, I did six without you doing anything. So this time uh, we'll do it together. So uh, we'll go from six. Are you ready? And go. One, two. Right, next one is just a quick side step jump exercise. If you've got patios with these sort of squares laid out, it's basically like a footwork ladder. So all we're going to do is just put one foot in each square and just laterally move there and back. So we're just moving across, move across to the end of the patio and then come back. So if we watch Arabella do it, she puts one foot in each square and goes. And then pushes back. And it, Right, next warm up exercise is just a quick mirror exercise. Arabella just has to mirror whatever movement I do. I'll do all side steps just to keep it simple, but if Arabella is uh, next to me here, if I move to my left, Arabella's got to shadow, so Arabella's got to mimic my movement. Are you ready, steady, and go. And we can swap it round, so now Arabella is the uh, Dictator, so she decides which she's gonna, which way she's gonna move. Are you ready? I've right, got to follow. Well done, Bells. Right, this next one is just an extension of the previous one. So this is mirror ball. So this time, whoever holds the ball decides where they move. The other person follows. As soon as I throw the ball, Arabella has to catch it, and then when Arabella's caught it, she's the decider. So are you ready, Bells? And go.
Olympian ball exercise, tennis for kids and mini tennis red. All we've got to do is just hold the ball out. We're in a triangle ready position, knees slightly bent, nicely on our toes. Just go to about eye level, arms straight, let the ball bounce, see if you can catch it. So you can just go to eye level, let the ball bounce, see if you can catch it. Then Arabella and I are going to do it as a partner exercise where if I hold my ball this way, Arabella, if you move into the corner, hold your ball that way, you have an easy run to my ball, I have an easy run to your ball. Are you ready? Stay and go. Oh. And we'll go again. Just making sure if you do it with a partner, I'll be brilliant tuning into that. Then you've got a clear run to my ball. If you go the other way, Belt, that's it. Are you ready? And go. Oh. Right, this next exercise, it's in the body and ball section, but it's really a bit of racket, a bit of feet, a bit of ball. Um, this time, Arabella's got a red band on her right hand and a blue band on her left hand. If you haven't got bands, you can just use stickers or you can use just a pen to just mark the, the red and blue. We're also going to look at her red foot, which is underneath her red hand, and her blue foot, and also a through ball, which you're all familiar with. So if Arabella then goes into the goal over here, she starts on the yellow, and if it's red racket, she has to hit it back to move the racket. If it's red foot, she has to kick it back with the red foot. If it's blue racket, hit it back with the blue hand. If it's blue foot, kick it back with the blue foot. So it's red foot. Red foot. So red foot, there would be a foot, that's it. And then it's blue racket. Just one hand, just the blue hand. And blue racket. And red racket. And red foot. And blue foot. And back. And through ball, so let it go through your legs. Good. And red racket. Good. Blue racket. Yep, so just use your blue hand. That's it, you get used to it after a while. So it's red racket. Good. Blue racket. Through ball. Ah, yeah, well done. Well done, back to the yellow. Right, this next uh, exercise, this is now into the racket and ball section. So this is probably the most important section of the uh, lesson. Although we split it into receiving skills and uh, sending skills, basically they're the same. So it all should be part of the same uh, enterprise. So if uh, Arabella throws me a ball from behind where we're filming, what I'm gonna do is try to catch it in one hand if I can. So I let the ball bounce, catch it in one hand, and then in the same motion I show the ball to where I want to throw it, and then I lift my hand so that my knuckles touch my ear. So I release the ball forwards, throw the ball knuckles to the ear. So uh, as we're doing it, although it's, it's racking ball, we're going to do the same, exact same thing with the racking in just a second. I'm in my ready position, the ball comes, it bounces in front of me, I find it with my hand, and then I throw forward and up, and touch my knuckles to my ear. Right, now racket and ball. Now we actually are going to hit it with the racket. So I've got the racket in front of my right foot. If I pick it up and then turn it, it should be in the correct grip. So we're trying to get your palm behind it. So it's in front of your, basically your right toe. You pick it up so the fingers go underneath. Turn it so that now my palm is behind the racket and I'm just going to replicate the exact same action I did when I threw it. So if the ball comes to me, I point the racket where I want it to go and touch my knuckles to my opposite ear. So the ball comes, I touch the and then point the racket where I want it to go. So it's as if I was using the ball like we just did, but now we're using the racket in the correct grip. Okay, next progression, we're gonna try and rally it. So it's just if you're the person that's assisting the uh, rallyer, just trying to keep your head really gentle, see if you can bounce the ball about um, a metre and a half, two metres in front of um, the person that's practising. So we're just doing our fine finish up to you. Right, 
this next game is called Bullseye. So we're f still, this is the game part of the lesson. Arabella's still doing the touch and finish forehand, so she finds it with a palm behind the shot, touches the knuckles to her opposite ear. If she gets the ball, if you can see it on this garden, if she gets the ball into the big orange square, she scores one point. If she gets the ball more accurately into the, so that it bounces in the white square, she gets five points. If she can hit a bullseye and get it into the blue square, she gets 10 points. So the maximum score she can get if she has 10 shots is 100 points. We'll see how she does. Are you ready, Arabella? Oh, so she scored one point for that because it bounced in the orange. She scored five points for that, so how many is she on? Six points, very good. She scored another five, so six of five is 11. She scored another five, so 11 and five is 16, very good. She scored another five, so 16 and five is 21, very good. She scored another five, 26. She scores another five, 31. She scores another one, 32. She scores another one, 33. She's got two more left. Oh, she scores another five, 33 on five, 38. And last shot. Oh, another five. 38 and 5. Arabella's score is 43. Right, this is Arabella and I signing off. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel and also try and practice it so that when we are released from lockdown, you've, you've done plenty of tennis practice. Um, we're lucky uh, to have this set up, but if, if you can do it, you, you know, feel free to uh, send us the videos of, of you doing them. Let us know if you're happy for them to, to go on YouTube. We're happy to put them on our, our YouTube channel as part of our lockdown uh, tennis experience. If not, you, you're welcome to just send them, send them to us for us to just have a look at, and uh, we can obviously comment on them for you. Um, John signing off, Arabella signing off.